Coily Crowns. I'm Ashante. And I'm Lori. And welcome to our Queendom. Welcome to our Queendom. Thank you again for watching. Um, thank you for our, all of those who have subscribed to our page. If you thank haven't you. subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like our videos, and share with the rest of your family and friends. Invite yeah. them into our Queendom. So this week's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit more in depth about our hair and our hair journey. So you've seen us switch it up a little bit over the last few weeks with the, our videos and things. So we're just going to talk a little bit more about hair today. So I did notice Lori again, changing it up. She don't have what, this is like the third color I think you done um, First of all, showed up with. I will be different every time y'all see me. She is a chameleon. <laughs> That's who I am. I don't have any problems with it. That's how I grew up. My mom is a cosmetologist, so I was always the guinea pig. So I just got used to changing my hair. So do y'all like it? It's purple. It's is that the same company with the that with the red? Because like the red was very no. no? Okay, because this I'm gonna is tell, I'm gonna tell y'all about this. Uh -oh. So I went to the store and I got this color the gold one the very first time i tried the color is called mo mofaso mofasi okay that's the company so i have their edge control and now i have that gold color and when i used the gold color and i put it on i loved it because it wasn't my color that i wanted but it didn't have like it wasn't everywhere you put it on your hair stayed on your hair wash right out perfect that red color I still have red flakes all over my bathroom. Really? I cleaned it up. It's it's just, I can't even get it off of anywhere. And it was just, I couldn't wait to kind of get it out. It was cute, but it just ended up everywhere. And I don't like that. And that Did was- it wash the, out? Um, it washed out real uh, easy, but it was just, I still have it. I'm just like, oh my God, this red flakes. But it, I love the color. Yeah. So okay. that's one of those things like, if I do it again, I know I'm only going to have it for a day or two, maybe max, because it's just everywhere. And that was by ORS Curls Unleash. And I think that's a black company. I, I feel kind of bad about that. But so I went back and I was like, let me see what other colors um, Mofasi has. And I like it. And I like that I'm not going to have it everywhere. I haven't <laughs> had one flake. Yeah, no. it's true. It shows up. So is it a blue, purple? It's purple. Purple, okay. They had the blue one too, so maybe I'll try that next time. But I wonder, I was like, oh, purple might be nice. So it's so good. I put it. Go ahead. You wore that for work? No. <laughs> now, I don't know. Shante's trying to act like she don't know. That little piece, that little number she got on over there, that's why I wear to work. <laughs> So, so you untwist your hair and then just put that in or it was you already twisted it with the color no so while i was watching married at first sight this week i untwisted my hair my protective style for my wigs and i just sprayed it with water put some more olive oil on it and then put some eco styler and the color so i twisted it back up but twisted it kind of differently that i wouldn't wear under a wig and um so it could be nice and fresh for our taping today. Looks good. Looks good. Thank you. I wish I, I tried to do twist outs and my twist outs just never look the, the greatest. I don't know. It's always one side always looks very dull or it gets real crazy, but your twist out I mean, was good. Mine kind of does the same thing though. Like what I did this time, I fluffed it with a pick because somebody I had to watch a video on that because usually it was super flat. Mm -hmm. So I puffed it out and then the the frizzy pieces, I just put some more Eco Styler gel on that bad boy. Took a Deadman brush, brushed yeah. it, and then my curls came back. I was like, ah, tell me more. <laughs> so I'm still trying to work through this whole process because I am a cheater and I will run to them wigs real quick on a bad hair day. So I haven't been forced to really embrace everything. So I'm gonna get there. Okay, it is a process, right? Was just def definitely transitioning to um, natural hair from being <laughs> having a perm for so long, especially yeah. if you had it for like as a kid and things. Majority like that. of your life, 
that's all you knew how to do. I know you say you had your mom as a cosmetologist, so you had someone to help you. I think I said in one of our other videos, my mom couldn't do no hair. So a lot of it was on me. And as a little kid, it was the neighbors and family members. So getting a perm, I got one, I think when I was eight, um, we had moved to North Carolina. I got a perm because there was nobody else to do my hair. So mm -hmm. she was like, this is what I'm going to do. It should be pretty easy from there. And I pretty much was the one putting my, my little ponytails together. So if y'all ever find any old pictures of me around that, that age? They're cute. Child. They're you know, cute. Struggle trying to figure out how to part. You can't, I'm my mom's child. So I couldn't part, do nothing. But I had to make it do what it do. So tell us a little bit more about your process and when you became natural, what made you decide to go natural? Did you do the bit chop? Did you transition? Um, I think I said before in one of our previous videos that I moved to Atlanta. I was far away from my mama, so I couldn't find nobody to do my hair. And I'm very particular. My hair burns with a perm. Mm -hmm. So if I go somewhere, it got me sitting, looking crazy. That's the last time y'all going to see me. Or if you try to rush me or you take too long, everything. I, I just, I, I can't. So then I was like, crap, okay. I have to do hair, my hair myself. And then that was a whole nother process. Like, I can't do this. <laughs> or I had to wait to go home to get my hair done. So, you know, at the time, that was like this big thing about um, people going natural. And in Atlanta, it just seemed like, everybody was going natural and they had like the um natural hair shows and I would go there and I'll be like okay all right mm -hmm. and so I don't even know how I found this hairdresser but she used to do hair in her basement mm -hmm. and I loved her it was like you know going to like your own personal hairstylist because it would just be you most of the time in the appointment and she, I worked out a deal with her that I would go get my hair pressed every week before I cut my hair. And so I still had permed, you know, the bottom piece, but my new growth was, she would just press it. And my hair was beautiful. She colored it, I pressed everything. I would go there every week, she would steam. I was like, what is this? Every week? This steam every week. Cause it was just like, I paid her one price for the month. Oh, so she would, I, I would have a spot and it was cheaper. It was maybe $30 because it was consistent. Mm -hmm. It was like $30 to go get my hair washed and pressed every week. I don't have to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> it was Especially great. when you transition in. Yeah, that's right. Nice. But at the transition period wasn't bad though, because most of the time your hair is still straight. You just need, you know, a little hot comb down there because that's who is the worst. But she was real gentle with me. She was, you know, she had it together. And um, so I love that in Atlanta, the humidity is not as bad as South Florida. I learned the hard way. So there I could wear my hair out. It wouldn't get puffy immediately. You know, it might take a oh, five days and then by the time you could wear it up you could do something different so um I did that for a very long time until it was just like okay I need to do the big chop and so I did and she was like yeah I can't help you no more I was like what she's like because she didn't do braid style she didn't do anything else other than straighten it and when you first if you want to transition to having a curl pattern, you can't straighten your right, hair right, nonstop. Right. So then I was just like, man, now what do I do? So I went to her every once in a while, but it was like, if I want to do something different, I have to go somewhere else. So then I tried to figure out how to learn how to do certain things on my own, but then went to them wigs and I was just like, I'm fine. I would go to work with a different wig every day. <laughs> Cause it was just different. The, the environment was different there. It's different than where I am now. So people were just like, who are you today? And I'm like, oh, this is such and such. This is such and such. And I was just expressing myself in any way that I felt like um, through my hair. And I think that's how we should be. I don't think it should be a big deal because other people feel like they can't do it. That's basically why we're being told we can't enjoy how our hair naturally comes out of our head. Yeah, so that was my 
my little transition story. Oh, oh, mine is not as, it wasn't bad, but it was all me. So when I decided to go natural, um, had perms, like I said, since I was like eight and they would burn and I would have scars yeah. and sores and I just, that light just kind of clicked. I was like, okay, I can't do this no more. And I think also, like you said, being in Atlanta, being in DC and seeing a lot of natural hair helped me as well become mm -hmm. confident in saying, okay, you know what? I can do this as well. It's going to be a learning curve, but you know, I can do it. So um, at the same time, I just found yeah. my um, hairstylist and she was had given me a couple of perms. I'm like, oh, I like her. And I trust her and she also did natural hair. So I decided, okay, I'm going to get a bob and I'm going, this is my last perm. And so I went and got my hair cut into a short bob and above chin level bob. And from there, I just let it transition. I did not go to her all the time. So my transition process was me trying to learn how to do two strand twists or uh, flat twists, things like that. And I look back at some of the pictures. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I look a mess. But thankfully it was a quick process for me. I think maybe it was a year total with all my new growth um, to come in and get rid of the perm and also she was trimming it um as we went along so I would did still go and see her and get trims um yeah so that was really my process since then I have I go to my stylist not a lot maybe like two to three times a year um if I have an event then I may go and ask for her to um do my hair but I am pretty much a one trick pony like my afro puff is my go-to that is for me what I do so my normal style uh, process is I wash it probably once every week and a half two weeks um I found this product it works for me of course there's so many different products so in everything doesn't work for everyone. Mm -hmm. My um, coworker, my boss actually told me about this product and I at first was very skeptical, but then I saw her using it and I started seeing her curl pattern. For me, I could never really see my curl pattern. I always just had this like Afro. And once I start watching and looking at her hair, I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna give this a try. And it took a little bit of timing, a little bit of time and training. That's the word I was trying to think of, training for my hair. Um, but it started showing the curl, natural curl pattern. And I was like, oh, I actually have curls? Like, <laughs> I really didn't think I had any. Um, and that product has worked for me. And it's become really the only product I use. So I wash my hair. I put that on. And... I actually started doing the wash and go because I'm like, okay, I actually have a curtain. Wash and go is not a wash and go. It still no. is a process. They tricked me with that too. Because when I first heard wash and go, I was like, I can't go nowhere. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hair all just shrunk up, looking at this. Yeah, that was me too. Like watching YouTube videos about wash and go. Okay. Yeah, no, my hair don't look like that. Right. But with this product, <laughs> I started seeing my hair actually look like the curls that people have. Again, it's not like you wash and go. You have to take it and rake it through your hair. Um, it still shrinks once it, it dries, your hair dries. But the curl pattern that I had, I was like, wow, I have curls. So that is my go-to. So normally what I'll do is I'll do the wash and go. And by the end of the first week, I have it up until my Afro puff. And then that's what I'm wearing for like the next week. Um, like I, said, I don't really do too much. I can't really braid or twist or none of that. I try, but they usually just don't look right. I think most naturals have stories of where, you know, they try doing a hair and it just never looks, <laughs> comes out. Those memes that says, so you tried this, and this is what it actually looked like. <laughs> That's I had a couple of those. Every time. Almost every time, I'm like, oh, 
that's all you need to do. You follow the YouTube, you go through, and then you take it out, and you're like, that's not what what something happened. Something, <laughs> something, <laughs> something. Yeah. Uh, so I agree with that. Yeah. So I don't really do a lot of YouTube videos. I watch them, and I'm like, oh, I wish. And every now and then, I might try one, mm -hmm. but the twist that I had when we first started the show, that was actually from a YouTube video. Um, I had some help. My cousin helped me with actually parting and then doing the hair. And then I redid the front of it. So I was like, okay, I think maybe I could do this myself the next time. But I just stick with my little wash and go in my Afro until now. Now <laughs> I'm upgraded. Yeah. got me a little piece yeah. here and i'm probably gonna be getting more so i have some more variety to my my closet and what i can bring out so i'm enjoying i'm enjoying my little process here my journey what about you what's your go-to well i think you already mentioned it's the wig so. hello i'm trying so i was supposed to start 2021 going to work with my natural hair every day oh okay well you you still going to work so but that didn't work yeah, out that didn't work i wore it um that first episode that we did with the little afro puff i went to work with that i was just like nah nah bro this ain't gonna work so i need to find more styles that i can do mm -hmm. i think a lot of the time when i'm looking at a style that i like for work it's on blow dried hair and mm. i don't really want to blow dry my hair um that often i think i don't want to put a lot of heat on it because I, my hair it doesn't recoil back very easily well how often do you straighten your hair probably twice a year okay same here i usually do it in the fall um in fall winter around that time oh, okay at least twice a year but, even blow dry right yeah no I, I don't blow dry yeah so but when I look at people's nice like hair that they have like where they could kind of twist it into a style or whatever is usually not on on blow dried hair do you so I don't I gotta have you tried like the bandit where they take the bands not necessarily rubber bands but they band the hair that helps to stretch and that way you don't have to blow dry it because that's what they're blow drying it for really is to stretch hair right yeah so you can band it or do plaits and let it dry oh well, yeah that don't no. oh okay mm -hmm. so maybe try the band um, method i've mm -hmm. seen um different people do that and that helps it dry naturally but it stretches the hair so you can do more with it yeah anyhow oh. i don't know i'm still working on it like I told y'all before I lost I have shedding in the front of my hair after I have my baby so that's kind of lost some of my confidence and so then also I can't really color my hair and I'm trying to find a color that I could feel comfortable wearing to work mm -hmm. I don't think that red is gonna do it the purple is definitely not gonna do it and then the uh -oh. gold I didn't like it that much it wasn't my favorite so I got to find something. There's another color I want to try too. It's like a peach. So maybe that'll look like more of like an auburn, not auburn, but like a, I don't know. I think it's going to look cute. I hope. Okay. So I was going to try that color and then I'll see what I can do with work. Okay. Come and show us first and see. We can give you some. I have to feel comfortable it's not that my hair is not cute it's just I don't want to feel like people are looking at my hair and I don't feel confident in it so if I feel confident it doesn't matter what anybody else says or does but if I don't even feel confident then it's just not I'm just gonna be like no but you wouldn't even still put it on for us and show us oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I mean like oh, okay put it on to come show us sorry what the color looks like yeah yeah of course hello okay yeah i do I this see. for y'all <laughs> this this get washed out by two days and then back to my wig <laughs> so yeah um but yeah i had that goal because you know 
my daughter has natural hair. She, I don't want to get any kind of perms for her. So I don't want it to be like, why mommy hair look like that? Your hair and my hair looks like this. So I got to get myself together before she can recognize that, you know, so working on it. I mean, we'll see. Outside, outside of work though, you are wearing your hair. So she'll see it that way. Oh yeah. I, I wear it. And maybe she'll just be a chameleon like me. Just like her mom. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Chaining it up. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, we got a couple pictures that Ashante calls word association. Because I was like, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> How do you want to describe it? I'm calling it hair goals or like what I would. Well, it's the same thing. It's word association. So we had a couple words that we wanted to find some photos that would represent that word. So the first word that we came up with was boss. Boss life. And, and so this, this was my picture that I found on the internet. Uh, hopefully there's no copyright infringement with this stuff. <laughs> if it is, we apologize right now. <laughs> but I found this on the internet. I loved how this hair looked. I like the height of it. I like the size. I love her makeup. I love her earrings. I mean, this is in the embodiment of what boss life looks like. She looked like she got it together. Okay. So That's for me, mine. with the boss, I automatically thought professional work um, hair. So this is the picture I found. And I was like, I would like to try something similar um the picture you have is actually something on my to try list I do want to get um something like that with the why you like yourself or get oh my get done like oh you're gonna do it to yourself no oh no girl I told you oh, okay. okay no 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 not me I'm just go, like somebody I'm trying else to do it. oh sorry no 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 something go to someone and they do it but okay, kind of like your your picture I want to try that okay. so for me this is my picture for boss again I was thinking professional work hair mm -hmm. okay so All what right. was your next what's the next word so the next word I think was chill nope fierce fierce <laughs> <laughs> the next word fierce I found this picture because I just thought like it's giving me just different. It's giving me striking. It's giving me don't mess with me. I know where my confidence lies and it lies in these, this hair, these eyes, these shoulders. Right. Oh, okay. It, it's everywhere. So that's why I picked this one. Okay. And for me, Fierce was a short cut with like the cuts through it. Oh, mm -hmm. three that excludes confidence as well. Yes. I don't have the confidence to cut my hair, you but don't think so? I don't. Mm -mm. But I, I always think see you would have the face for it. Like there's, I don't know, certain shapes, face shapes. I think can glean to it. Even like people who are like completely bald, I'd be like, whoo! I don't know if I could do completely bald, <laughs> like completely like. Shape, but I've shaved the back of my head off before and I liked it. Oh, see, uh, no. It was just upkeep though. Girl, who got time to be cutting their hair every week? Every week, yeah, I've heard that once you do that and then transitioning back to letting it grow out and things. Mm -hmm. But I love looking at pictures and seeing a nice um, haircut and then with like any designs in it, anything like that. So for me, mm -hmm. that was fierce. Yes. Okay, next word. This is your chill picture. This is chill. So this is how I would like my hair to look when it's in a twist out, but it don't. Yeah, same here. But, <laughs> but this is like my chill um, hair. It's like I'll do a twist, um, two strand twist. And that'll be like my home life, either under my wigs or just a day that I'm not going anywhere. Um, to make sure that it's in a protective style. So this is chill for me. Okay. And my ultimate chill is my go-to Afro, like <laughs> Afro puff. That's me is ultimate. Just take that, put it on up, 
got to do nothing else. <laughs> just let it just live and be about your business. I can't get my hair like that. I mean, I could put it in a ponytail, but the puff never looks big enough. It can never pick puff. it out. Pick it out. Mm-hmm. I'll try that one day then. Pick it out. So where then, do you put your ponytail? You put it like up here or back here? I try to do more in the front, but it always end up back more in the middle part towards the back. But I always try to get it more of a um, a high puff up top. It just never mm-hmm. seems to work. You ever have any issues with, I always do stuff too tight. So I end up giving myself a headache sometimes if I, if like on the first try, Mm -hmm. I want it as tight and, you know, crisp as possible. And then like an hour later, I'm like, I did this way too tight and I don't know what to do. I, so I use headbands for, um, to do mine afro puff and so mm-hmm. usually it already has the, you know elastic but i will stretch it a little bit more and sometimes depending on how the volume i want it to be that sometimes i might wrap it two to three times and that can be mm-hmm. a little tight um mm-hmm. but never to the point where i'm just like you know my like eyes are all like that so no yeah. or having a headache um but usually i just do it like two times wrapped around pick it out and just go from there okay last word is play so I love color I miss putting color on my hair because of this shedding so that's why I'm playing and experimenting with these uh this temporary color wax so I love this red on this young lady and I like dreads like secretly I've always wanted dreads but then I can't change my style up so that's why I've never ever done it and I know you can because I've learned through life that you know you could do updos you can change it up you can I've seen people have weaves over dreads and I was like no (laughs) ma'am never am I gonna have a whole full head of hair like that and then put some more hair on no nope nope so i liked her for play okay and my little picture for play was cute this little whimsical hair afro with the little what is this called baby's breath the flowers oh uh, yeah in there so i don't know if that's cute playful i could totally see someone wearing this at some kind of like music festival and or <laughs> i don't know hair festival. i can see a wedding too like wedding? a like a calm what not like a super dressy wedding but i can see that okay yeah cool all right well those were our videos for our um word association game <laughs> Lori said i called it um so before we leave we want to now transition to our queen of the week what happened to the crown lord oh, okay there she is i'm getting it <laughs> I mean, she's just cracking the whip over here. Let me get it. (laughs) So our queen of the week is Ruth E. Carter. She's an American costume designer for film and television with over 40 films to her credit, who has mastered the look of multiple periods and genres in envisioning the clothing and overall appearance of a character or performer. Mm -hmm. During her near 30-year film career, Carter has been nominated three times for the Academy Award for Best Costume Design for her work on Spike Lee's biographical film, Malcolm X, Steven Spielberg's historical drama film, Amistad, and her most recent work on Ryan Coogler's Marvel superhero film, Black Panther, for which she won the award and became the first African-American to win an Academy Award in that category. Woohoo! So Miss Ruth is our queen of the week. And she recently also got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So congratulations right. to you. And thank you for what you've done for movies and film and representing us. Um, so this picture is her next to some of the costumes that she designed for the Black Panther movie. So again, awesome. thank you, Miss Ruth. And you are our queen of the week. Woohoo! Yes, congrats. 
Okay, well, that was our show today. Again, we just wanted to just talk a little bit more about our hair journey, where we where we came from, where we are. Um, if you are thinking of going natural, give it a try. You can always go back to getting your perms if you don't think it works out. But I think mm -hmm. for me, it's been liberating and just helping me learn myself, my own confidence and things like that. So I would recommend um anyone to give it a try at least and try it out any last words from you Lori? no i just i'm still learning and i don't think that you need to stop learning so you can experiment have fun it's an expression i i use my hair as an accessory most of the time i get dressed up to tailor my hair the you know jewelry hair clothes shoes everything all goes together so enjoy it okay well be sure to subscribe like and share our videos if you haven't done so already remember we release videos on saturdays which is our recap of merit at first, merit at first sight which comes on tonight so watch that and then come watch us on saturday until next wednesday when our next video of general topics comes out we want to remind you to do what protect your throne Bye. Bye. Bye.